I've done a little bit more work on my TS520S and tonight I've been looking at the PA board and resistors which were suspected of having failed and that certainly proved to be the case when I measured the resistance uh, with my multimeter and I've replaced three resistors in total onto the PA board two of them at 10 ohm 1 watt and the third one was 470 ohms 1 watt so three resistors off and three new resistors in place so I've soldered those in now and let's have a look what the radio is doing uh, with those changes radio's uh, been running for 20, over, 20 minutes or so so everything's nice and warmed up I'll switch across to the tune position and we're in IP let's have a good look, close look at the meter previously it was pegging straight across to the right maximum reading so immediately you can see that there is a change and I'll just adjust the plate to dip that down and there we go just down there I'll go across to RF next just see where we sit there just tweak the load up a fraction that's about right I'll do a quick check on ALC to make sure the radio is sitting in the right range and yes it is right on the edge of ALC so that looks alright I'll go across into CW and again I'll switch into send now you'll see that the meter pegs across to the right again so that makes it very difficult to do much adjustment with uh, the plate when it's already sitting all the way across I'll go to RF and you'll see that that is reading fairly normally so really it's just the uh, IP reading that seems to be not correct I'll go back to here again now the way I can do the adjustment is looking at my power meter so I can bring maximum power just up there go across to RF now do the final adjustment and there it is right on 100 watts output so that's where it needs to be the other thing that I have uh, made the adjustment for if we go across into sideband is when I go into talk I've adjusted the bias so that sits right on that 60 milliamps so which is the correct setting and as you can see as I talk the meter is a little bit more sensitive and does move around a little bit more than it did in the past so I'm not sure uh, what I've done there but the uh, transmit seems okay, receive is okay uh, relays uh, it's coming straight out of transmit and receive not having to power on and power off the radio so that's correct but uh, just still getting some funny needle behavior in the IP setting ALC and RF and HV all look to be correct so most of the way there any suggestions on what I need to look at next to correct that uh, last little bit and uh, get the case back on it